This is a recipe for peanut butter brittle. I have been making this recipe every holiday season for at least 20 years. I found this recipe in one of those, I think it was anyway, I think I found it there, in one of those magazines that you buy at the supermarket checkout that shows you holiday cookies and candies. Well, I bought that and like I said, this is over 20 years ago and I've been making it ever since and it's, it's something that people really like. In my pot, I have three sticks of butter which I am melting. For this recipe, you really need a candy thermometer. It's, they're not that expensive. I think you can get them for under $15. Um, they're really essential for candy making. To the butter, I'm going to add three tablespoons of water. I'm going to add three tablespoons of light corn syrup. It takes a while for it to drip off. Now this mixture here in the pot, I'm going to bring it on medium heat to a simmering boil. Now it's going to take quite a while. I need it to get up to 300 degrees. And you're saying, well, 300 is really not all that high. It takes a while. I mean, the first 250 go by like a race car, and the next 50 go by real slow. And the trick, I'm going to add my sugar too. This is one and three quarter cups of sugar. So everything's in there. The uh, trick to making this come out really good is stirring constantly. I have made this in different ways where I've walked away, let it just bubble away, I couldn't see any harm in it, and I'd come back and I'd stir it, and then the finished product would be really dark. I'm going to turn my thermometer on. It would be really dark, and it didn't look like peanut butter. The peanut brittle should look the color of peanut butter. So now we've got this going. I've got a couple of minutes where I don't have to stir because that's, the butter is still melting. We'll prep our pan. Now I have a half sheet pan here, cookie sheet, and I've lined mine with Silpat because nothing sticks to Silpat and it makes the brittle easy to pick up later and just break apart. If you don't have Silpat, then very well grease your sheets with butter, not with shortening, butter. Now I have a generous cup here of peanut butter chips. I'm going to pour those on there. You're going to need more peanut butter chips because these are going on the bottom. I'm just kind of spread them out so that there's a little bit everywhere, not too close to the edges. And then afterwards we're going to pour this mixture on top when it reaches the 300 degrees. And then we're going to add more peanut butter chips on top. And then we're going to let it set. And then we're going to break it apart. And I'll show you how to finish it. But for now, we're going to put that aside. And now I'm going to concentrate on this. And like I said, this is going to take maybe 20 minutes, maybe as long as a half an hour. Um, if you've got a chair that you can sit here, put some music on, get a cup of coffee, and get a chair and sit down and relax because you're going to be here for a while. This is only at 97.5 degrees, 97, 96.4. I just stir it, it drops down. I really don't have to do all this stirring until after all the butter is melted, so I'm going to give myself a break right now. And I'll just keep stirring and stirring and stirring until it comes up to 300 degrees. To 96. To set to 97. Here we go. We're going to be at 298. And my arm is really tired. 299. 299. 300. Okay. And we are going to just get this on here. have to move quickly because the stuff will set. 
very, very quickly. I'm just trying to make it a little thinner so it's not really, really thick. And I have uh, next to my hand here another generous cup of peanut butter chips. And I'm going to sprinkle those on top. Trying to get some on the ends too. And then going to get out flat. Just press them in a little bit. Not too hard. Just You don't want them to melt. Now, we're all done. We just, well, we're all done with this part. We just have to let this sit at room temperature until it's completely cool. Then we can break it up and finish it. And I've got some dishes to do. Here's our peanut butter brittle, pretty well set. And this is one of the reasons why I love Silpat because it just comes right off. It can just break off in chunks. I like chunks about that size. Make them your own size. Of course, as you go along, some of it's going to break into pieces that it wants to, so you're not going to have any choice. Now, you can, ooh, goody, leftovers for me. Um, you can leave it like this and eat it just like this. It's very good. Or you can do what I'm going to do. And that's take a piece. Dip it in chocolate. And then let it set. Tell me that doesn't look yummy. So I'm just going to keep on breaking the brittle and dipping, and we're going to have a happy holiday season. <laughs>